Well, Holston Athletics' incredible FA Youth Cup campaign has come to an end here at the New Lawn home of Forest Green Rovers. And we're joined by Steve Massey, Director of Football. Steve, uh, how do you assess that in the end? Um, well, it was a fantastic experience, wasn't it? And my, my initial... Um, Initial thought, so at the end of that, I thought maybe 5-0, five, five it's going to look back at home and think, oh, they were given a beating. And it was, I don't think it was any, anything like that at all. And I think, wow, I mean, they were a good side, weren't they? I mean, they brought two boys back in from out loan out of Cheltenham. And, and uh, wow, yeah, they were, they were some side in that first five minutes that they set off for us. And we were a bit of all over the place. Um, and they passed the ball around. And it was like, wow, wow, wow. Um, but I thought um, we showed a, a lot of... Cornish grit, if you like, and, and um, uh, courage. Um, and we got ourselves back into the game and a couple of half chances. I thought Louis should have really done better. It was a fantastic delivery in from a corner. And he's just heading his, hit his back on the shoulder. Um, uh, and then the, the really the, the big goal that killed us tonight was uh, the third one. Um, just right at half time, you think, yeah, we'll go back in at half time and 2-0. Two, two, two all, all still to play for, and that third one was a, was a killer right on right on half time. Um, but um, o o overall, I thought we put a huge amount, you know, a huge huge amount of, of effort and and the uh, energy that we put in um, from the, from the lads tonight. Lewis Tonkin typified that. Um, he ran every. I think it wasn't a blade of glass, a grass that he didn't didn't cover tonight. Um, and um, my yeah, my initial thought at this point was that. Um, we just, I'd, 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 they said at half time, we said at half time about uh, um, let's go and try and win, win this half uh, and just see where it takes us. Um, we're quite, quite capable. I thought we showed them a little bit too much respect at, at times. Um, and um, it, it was looking like that that way, to be perfectly honest. I thought it was, uh, even Stevens, to be honest, the, the second half. Um, and then the two goals are really dis disappointing. The ones that the fourth and the fifth one. The fifth one was comical. That that should never, never, never have happened. Um, uh, and the fourth one, we could we could have done a lot, lot better with that, really. Uh, but that's just being really, really panicky. <laughs> and and um, uh, full, full credit to the to, to the guys and Stuart and Martin and the, all the parents that's come up here tonight. Um, the long, long journey that's come up here. And yeah, it en ends here, but I wouldn't have swapped it for the world at all. Um, it's been a fantastic experience for them just to come and sample this surface they're playing on here. Um, so you asked me to sum it up. I, I, as always, it's taken me 300 words to say, probably 20. <laughs> Matt's <laughs> laughing down there. He knows I speak to him every Sunday morning. <laughs> but um, do you feel it's just one of those scenarios where it wasn't particularly your night, where obviously the first goal went in and you had chances after that and you... You, to be honest, from what we saw up here, you had a lot of possession and you were applying a lot of pressure. And I know you said before the game that one of your aims were to put the goalkeeper under pressure, um, which I feel you did. Do you feel um, you achieved your goals at all? Told? Obviously, the, obviously, conceding uh, wasn't great, but overall, how would you say the performance was? Excellent. You near know, enough just, just, just summed it up, to be perfectly honest. I think what I would have added to that is just, just at times we, uh, we showed our little naivety. Just ball, ball watching, I, I, I just run through some of the forwards there about when they watched it go back into the goalkeeper and then back out to the guy that dropped it in the other part. And we were ball watching, ball watching, instead of actually thinking, I know where this ball's going, which they knew where it's going, but they, you know, just little things like that, that they were only, they were only gain and get better as they, as they, as they play more, more football, particularly more, more um, adults football. But actually, you know, when you look at that, uh, that, that side that were out there, they were, they were some side. And for our guys to go down... 2-0 down within what, t under 10 minutes, I think, um, to, to come back and play as, play as well as they did. And the thing that just disappoints me for the players in there, for the players in there, and they, they feel, feel a little bit, uh, well, very, very disappointed with the scoreline. And that's the only thing that me, the, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole, the whole story, really. Uh, they were some, some side, but we, we had a, a, enough possession um, and chances that if we'd, if we'd converted, might have been um, a, a different uh, uh, outlook on the game at that particular time, particularly when it was 2-0. I thought we played ever so well when we, when we went to, from 2-0 down to then getting the third goal. I thought we would, we would uh, might even have said, yeah, I thought we were the, we were the, we were the better side until, until the third goal. And then their, 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 their class showed as well and then and they managed the game really well. Um, I just, I just thought there was a little bit of, of naivety, which you, which you, you come to expect. I mean, we put um, the, the 
the first two substitutions we made were 16 year olds you know um, and uh, they're going to be they're going to be fabulous players and it's a great experience for them for, for them in there um, but uh, um, yeah it's a dis it was a disappointing dressing room in there because of the score line but I think um, when it when it starts to sink in of what they've actually done and where they've been um, uh, and, and, and the and the, the run we've been on I think they'll look back on it with uh, immense pride and obviously you mentioned making core more proud Do, have they done that Oh, absolutely! Yeah, absolutely. And even tonight, regardless of whatever the result was here, you know, just the the the, the number of um, messages and good luck, and we even made it, you know, onto, onto even Sky Sports were, talk, were talking about us with the, being the, the Cornish side um, in the first round proper. Um, so they've definitely, definitely done that, um, and great effort from mums and dads and the families that have been up here t tonight, and they've taken time off work and come and. And, and followed the, the team and the side, um, and I think they can be um, they can be justly proud of of what performance they put in there tonight. Go again next year. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say that every year. So we want to go further than last year. We want to go further than any other team's been in at this level has. has. Um, I, I'm not quite sure whether that is that we, we did that. Um, maybe the history of the cup. Perhaps perhaps we didn't. But certainly we would we were one of the other aspirations and names was to, to, to be the last team standing at our standard and we've and we, and we done that so I think there's a lot a lot of things to be, feel very very proud about um, and uh, the guys did Cornwall very very proud and obviously you've still got your county cup to fight for as well yeah abs abs absolutely yeah uh, and there's, 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 there's the league and the county cup and um, with the league cup um, Stuart, Stuart Giles and Martin Dodger both spoke about um, there's not many teams, if any, who would have done um, a double treble. And that one, the treble we won last year with the under 18s, and then let's go and do it, let's go and do it again this, this year. Um, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a little, little disappointing. Nobody still, still hurts. I've been in football a lifetime. And you know, a 5 0, you think, oh, yes. but on the way back in the coach, it will, it will just start to sink in and look and I think, yeah, do you know what? The lads did well. Yeah.